Yes, to the track. All right, let's give a recap of what's happened to you this year. When should we start? <laughs> let's, let's start. Let's start in the fall. Oh. Um, I just had a late start to the fall. I went, had a late season, so um, probably one of the latest I've had. And I uh, had to take care of some like imbalances, but I got to take care of that. Had a great train walk in Flagstaff. I like I think Sean had a good indoor, short indoor season, but I liked it kind of thing. And then I uh, was really geared up for spring training. And of course, it's just part of the sport. You know, little issues pop up, so. Had an injury pop up that sidelined me for a little bit, but all that matters is I was able to pull together and get here. <laughs> yeah, you looked extremely smooth during Thanks. the 15 today. Did you feel like your old self being back on Hayward Field, you made magic happen <laughs> two years ago? Did you feel a little bit of that, or was it just more about getting done? Um, a little bit of both, I guess. I mean, I haven't raced 1500 this season, so. I mean, you could probably tell by the way I went out. I just was a little confused at first, so I think it was good for me to get in a race and get in the 1500, get the groove back a little bit, and you know, practice opening up that last lap. So it, I kept telling myself going in, I'm like, it's muscle memory, it's muscle memory. Like even though I haven't run a 15 leading up to this, um, it's muscle memory, and that's what I felt out there. And you've been doing most of your training alone, even though you have Emily McKay now on your team, because you said you're on a different Mackay, yeah. Mackay? Yes. <laughs> No, there it's you hard. Go. Yeah, there you go. But everyone is Emily Mackay on a different timeline. So, yeah. how is like the training lined up with you and her? I saw that she just made the final. Oh well. no, we've been training together as long as I've been healthy, of course. But um, she's an amazing training partner. Like, obviously, we've missed out on like, having Ellie around this year, so I'm excited for the three of us to be back together. And she's got a lot of grit. She actually Emily reminds me a lot of Ellie. So, and obviously of myself, like coming from a small school and kind of popping off so yeah I'm excited for her future and I'm just like really grateful to have her as part of the team. Go team New Balance. Go team New Balance. <laughs> Has there been anything else apart from I think it was like the T-band issue? Yeah. Because they saying like it's, it's been a long grind. Yeah. Like, is that the only thing or have there been other issues? No that was it. Um, I think it just stems from like most athletes when you have an issue pop up it stems from an imbalance somewhere else and um, I had to kind of get that all sorted out figure out where it's stemming from and uh, it was just a little bit unfortunate timing, obviously. Like I want, I was really excited because since I had a good year last year, I got to a lot of diamond leagues this year, and I was just excited to get that experience. But I'm trying to remind myself, there's plenty of time to do that. And like I said, injuries are a part of the sport. It's like how you overcome them, and that's what I'm trying to focus on now. You mentioned the confusion, like early in the yeah. Is it just like a rhythm thing, or what do you mean? Yeah. Um, I mean, like I said, I haven't run a 15, so in a little bit so I was just the last time I ran one was indoors obviously so you know you kind of just got to get your wheels back like figure out what you're doing you know get awake during the race type of thing and um yeah so I got out like a little bit like ah! <laughs> but um yeah I tried to put myself in a good position the last two laps yeah <laughs> all right thank you